Okay guys, now you know how to convert fraction to decimal, decimal to fraction and decimal to percentage individually. I have three videos, you watch those, I hope. Once you watch those, you can actually do this problem. You can pause it, as you clearly see, you can pause it. I have this problem here and do this problem and later on you can check your answer when I finish, okay? So let's take a look here. Let me see how can we convert in between. So we are going to actually check out the number one, which is fraction is given. Now missing is decimal. So we know one quarter is 25 cents. So it's 0 0.25 and we move the decimal two to the right, move it twice and it's gonna give us 25 percentage. So that's how you convert now the middle one is given as a decimal so guess what it's a still same issue right you can actually move it twice to get a percentage so we know this is going to be 15 percent here now how about the fraction so remember how do you read it we say one is tenth place five is hundredth place so we say fifteen hundredth so we put down fifteen over hundred okay 15 over 100 now we must reduce it so how do you reduce clearly we see there is a 5 in between common right so we can say uh, you know this one will give you 3 and this one will give you 20 so it's going to give you 3 out of 20 okay that's how you convert into fraction now the following one give you the percentage now percentage i don't see the decimal under the percentage but there is a decimal after the number remember that right so you are going to move the decimal to the left why because the symbol is there when you have this symbol right you must you know move the decimal to the left or divide by 100 so i'm going to move it to, to the left actually okay so i'm going to have 1.24 which was great easy quick right now the next one i'm going to do it manually so if i do it manually look i want i have a one whole number right now i know it's going to be mixed fraction so i'm going to put down 24 on top which is what should be on the bottom so 24 i want to make sure we read it 10th 100 so it's going to be 2400 now of course obviously you can reduce it reduce it one and so what is common between them guys you have your you know divisibility rule and you have your uh, you know earlier learning concept you have some intuition now you can easily actually reduce it can you check out can you reduce it guys i'm pausing it out a little bit here so look at here there should be some four at least four I give you enough time to look into that so i'm going to divide by four i'm going to divide by four okay so if i divide by four right it should give me one and six over 25 okay that is how you convert into a mixed fraction decimal okay all right let's do the three two three more exactly three more so let's see we're under control on this okay so while well, we are given as decimal, so 15 is the whole number again, as earlier we said, three over one, two, three digit. Some of you say in what, put down one and three decimal, three zeros. Yeah, because it, it, we read it 3000 and definitely we cannot reduce it. Why? Because three is number on the top there is no common on the bottom so stay like as it is now we want to get our we want to get our percentage so how to do that that is simple we are instead of moving to the left we're going to move to the right so we have one five zero zero point three percentage okay let's take a look here we're moving twice this one we move it twice that would be new decimal places so 1500.3 percent okay very nice let's take a look at next one okay 
so six and one eight percentage so again this one is going to be a little bit difficult maybe again if you know how to convert to decimal that is going to be easy so i'm going to put my decimal here six i'm going to do this this over here six okay let's take a look six and well we need decimal so basically give me one second we should be no we, we should be able to actually do the long division here so let's take a look here one over eight so eight goes outside and one is inside eight doesn't go have a decimal so zero eight times one is eight and two zero basically you do eight times two which is basically 16 and there is a four going there eight and 40.125 so guess what what do you get we get 6.125 6.125 percentage remember i haven't done anything with the percentage so i just did the long division and that gives us the decimal and of course percent percentage is there so i need some space here right i need some space i'm gonna erase it here I'll just show you how to do the long division right now I am going to move the decimal two to the left one two to the left so what is the answer answer is zero point zero six one two five that is the answer that's the answer okay guys that is how we convert decimal okay and now how about the fraction again fractional part right so let's take a look here if you look into this problem here so six one two five over how many digit one two three four five digits so you know one and five zero one and five zero well one two three four five yeah three zero you can actually put down zero here one two three four and one more zero okay all right so now question is can we reduce it can you check out if you can reduce it guys can you check this out quickly so you have this one right okay so that is going to give you 49 over 800 actually so you check it out you know how to do it if 49 over 800 you know what let me check out myself also here okay six one two five okay that is correct actually okay all right, so problem like this big, you need some time to spend, okay? And of course, I skip some time here. You did, okay? I skip some work here. Okay, so five and one third. Again, five is the whole number, okay? Five is the whole number. And decimal number is one third. You know one third is what I'm gonna show you here. Actually, three goes here. One is down there, four and zero is gonna be nine, three sorry if three times three is nine and guess what it's going to be like this is going to be going over like that okay so uh you know it's going to be four and three 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 one third okay so it's going to be four and three 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 now question is where do we leave the decimal it's going on and on right so remember when you're converting into percentage you need at least one decimal so in a decimal you should have at least three decimal places so when you convert into percentage still you have a chunk of information left okay so what can we do we are going to move it one two to the right okay so it's going to be 533.3 percentage okay so i hope that conclude your understanding on fraction decimal and percentage and you can work any way you want any way they ask you the question you can still do that okay thank you so much